Hi everyone, I'm Gaussen from Ningbo ProColor. We started our business from 2004, specialized in colors for synthetic fiber and plastics. We supply more than 200 items, including pigments, sewing dyes, additives, and lab machines. Our production scale of sewing dye is top three in China. Besides the powder colors, we also provide granulars like single pigment concentration. We plan to make a series of videos which introduce our knowledge for the customers in plastic industry to facilitate our customers with more information and to help them to expand the market. We hope you can benefit as a viewer too. Today we talk about some typical requirements for plastic colorants. What's the first attraction of the product? Quality or price? No, the first eye-catching is the color of the product. In fact, attractive color design will make the product more popular. For example, Canada has a beverage brand called Clearly Canadian. They changed the manner water's appearance and achieved a great success. Its border is colored by a very pale blue, giving the customers a very natural and healthy feeling than the regular water. Therefore, in order to develop a distinguishing feature of a product, color design is a very important work. Plastic coloring is not coloration only, it is complex and systematic engineering. From the picture we can see, for different plastic resins, all requirements should be fully considered, like various processing agents, different molding process and application methods. Then choose appropriate pigments, optimize the performance and achieve the optimal coloring cost. We can study essential requirements of plastic coloration from three aspects. The first one we need to know is the types of plastics and some typical requirements for selecting colorants. Let's get some ideas about plastics. There are many kinds of plastics which require different types of colorants. According to the properties of plastics after heating, it can be divided in two categories, somoplastics and somosetting plastics. Somoplastic molding process is very simple, but it turns out excellent mechanical strengths. PVC, PE, PP, PS, and ABS are very typical thermoplastics. Thermoplastics can be divided into two categories, polymerization and condensation types. The molecular structure of some setting plastic is a sterile net structure, which will melt after being heated. However, when adding a small amount of curing agent, it is set into fixed shape. Its heat resistance outperform some plastics. Price is quite low too. There are many kinds of some setting plastics, but many include phenolic resin, amino resin, and epoxy resin, and so on. For different types of plastics, their processing temperature is between 120 and 350 Celsius degree. Hard and soft PVC and EVA need medium processing temperature, generally from 170 to 200 Celsius degree. LTP, HDPE, and PS are processed in a range of 200 and 260 degree. The processing temperature of PA, ABS, PC is about 260. Some plastics require particularly high processing temperature, such as fluorocarbons, polysoluxin, and newly developed high temperature materials. The processing temperature of some setting resin is relatively low, but its processing time is longer. Therefore, the colorants need to meet the processing temperature and the time at the same time for different resins. The temperature of different types of plastics are shown in the table. In addition, when the crystalline resin of plastic is molded, the symmetrical structure or needle-like organic pigment acts as a nucleating agent, which promotes the crystallization process, causing warping and shrinking. Therefore, when manufacturing high-precision plastic products, the dimensional stability can be guaranteed. However, for thermosetting plastics, the amorphous plastics or pigments don't have such negative effect. 
Some organic pigments will migrate in the polyolefin plastics if the glass transitional temperature is low room temperature. On the contrary, color migration will not happen on engineering plastics, even if the dye are selected. Polyester PC will decompose due to the moisture, and the molecular structure of linoleum will cause fading, and it has a strong reduction power. Generally speaking, selecting colorants should comply with below rules. We should pay attention to the migration on PVC caused by the plasticizer. Sterilizer may affect heat resistance and when the fastness of the pigment. On polyolefins, pigment migration, moldy shrinkage, dispersibility, and heat resistance should be noticed. Moisture of PC is a very sensitive issue. So as pH value and effect of matter on heat aging.